one. Hello guys and welcome back to my world. Today we have another command episode for you guys. So what I want to show you today is something very cool. Um, it's inspired by a kit in Annihilation once again and this time we're doing a transporter or a teleporter. So normally you can just teleport somebody anywhere you want using the commands teleport. But those commands are very static, so you can only teleport them here, or here, or over there. And they would have to be relative coordinates. So you would only be able to, or you could do it relative, so you could teleport them from here, relative to that horse. But this time, I have a way of setting up two waypoints that you can teleport to back and forth as often as you like, whenever you like. So let's dem give a demonstration. Let's drop the portal maker down on this block. And there you go, we have one. And let's drop the other one, let's say, over on the other side of my house here. All right, so there we go. Now, now that both those portals are open, one's over there, one's over here, we just stand on the portal, and bam, we're teleported. And you can also go right back, just like that. So, once I'm done, all I gotta do is clear my portals, and I can put down two ones, and the ground is exactly the way it was before. All right, so you may be wondering, how does all this work? Well, I've actually used some armor stands and I summon them when I drop this item. So as soon as I drop this item here, when I hit Q and it hits the ground, it actually starts to get a score of portal setup for number one and portal for number two. So over here we have a total of, let's count them out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different scoreboards to make this work. Okay, so when I drop it, it this one of these command blocks over here um, will adding score to portal one, adding score to portal. So basically, what they do is they will add um, to an item, which is basically what you drop, um, portal one, and then it will only add with the custom name portal maker two or portal maker one. So each one of those gets its own command block, and it adds one score for every tick, okay? So once it hits to, let's say, 15, I can't remember exactly what the number is, it will then delete the item, it will drop, um, it will clone everything three blocks down, place a nether, nether, um, nether rack or nether quartz ore underneath it where the air is, and then summons an armor stand above that. So it does all that at the same time, and then for fanciness, puts the particles in. So I've made the armor stand invisible, or uh, visible again, so you can see it. So when I drop it down, there's our armor stand, okay? So it does have a custom name. Um, I just didn't want to make that visible because you can't really see it with the particles anyway. So then once I place my portal maker two down, like that, we see we have a armor stand as well. And once I go here, the repeaters will turn on, and I teleport over to this armor stand. And clearing it, basically all I'm doing is over here, we are testing to see if the selected item slot that I have in my reset portals is true. If so, that will turn on, that will turn on. Both of them will activate the um, kill, it will execute at E where the armor stand is. It will clone the blocks up, right, back to where they were normally. It will move them back and then the armor stand gets killed, like this, I think. Yes, kill at E type armor stand, and this one as well. Okay, so I'll just show you for a reference here. Watch how the blocks move. So as you can see, the stone moved one block down, the dirt moved one block down, and that also moved one block down. And the same thing over here, bam. All right, and then I reset. So you may be wondering, how do I get my items back? Okay, so it's very simple. This one's, um, all it does is gives me back my items. That's another clone. Um, the items is over, somewhere over here. I think it's in this. Uh, replace items. Yeah, resetting scoreboard, and once the reset scoreboard happens, I get a bunch of new items. It goes through this clock here, which is a hopper clock, and then basically test for an armor stand, test for an armor stand, making sure that only that making sure that there aren't any left and once that goes we get a um, redstone signal coming over here and then giving back the um, the two uh, items 
All right. And what else? Oh, yes, over here. So my reset thing. As you can see, I can't drop it, no matter how much I try. And if I try to, I can just keep getting rid of it. So this is basically giving me a score when I have it. All right. And then setting one score, basically, for portal reset. Um, it kills any... Um, it does the similar way that these do when they drop, so it gets a score, and it kills them immediately. And then I get them with replace item back in this slot, slot specifically, so that um, I don't I don't have to make like seven different command blocks for each one of these. Because if I had if I was testing for it in each individual slot, I would have to have a command block for every slot, and have it selected. As you can see, they go on. So let's just go back in here. These are the ones that actually summon the armor stands. So over here, let's just turn invisible back to one, turn invisible back to one. As you can see, they're very long commands. And let's just throw that down. Maybe one last demonstration over there. As you can see, that's one of the problems that we have, is when you place it on a corner, the uh, armor stand actually gets placed right where the item was, but the block only gets placed where obviously the block can go. So then you end up with that kind of weird off-center this. So when you're trying to do it, placing it uh, in in the middle always works best. And now another thing is, um, let's do another, or let's spell that correctly, another. If I go here, all right, and I go on top, you'll see that the repeaters actually do turn on, but they don't teleport to me anywhere. Let's go back. Even if there is other nether rack in the world. All right, so that's pretty easily explained. Basically, as you can see, the other one turns on there. Um, there's no armor stands, and when I'm close to an armor stand, so let's say I go like that, I actually get a score of one of those. I can't remember which. I think it's portal, close to portal, or something along those lines. And then uh, I get that a score of one. When that is on, and I'm on top of this, it will teleport me when there is another portal. So let's place another portal. As you can see, it works. Does it work? Yes, there we go. All right. So it's a fantastic little idea. If you ever want to place this in your survival world, whoops. If you ever want to play that in your survival world, as long as you have these commands in your, um, you know, spawn area. So your uh, world spawn, your spawn point, and um, these portals are in the loaded chunks then you should be good to go. So I'll give you a couple demonstrations of uh, how far you can really take it. So let's place one in the front of my house here. All right, and let's head on over to this mountain. There we go. And let's place that down. Okay, and let's hop on. Oh yeah, and there you go. So that's it. So you can place it wherever you want. It's very flexible and you can reset it at any time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more command videos, you let me know. Any suggestions as to what you might want to see, that's always great. Um, lately I've been doing some MindZ, because MindZ2 is out, so you'll be seeing a lot of that. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and um, stay tuned for more.